Okay, so this is going to be a demonstration for a QR code. And a QR code is something that with a smartphone or smart device you scan and it will take you to additional information, whether that be um, an online website, a Facebook page, additional text, a uh, contact like a business card, a coupon, um, a phone number, basically anything you want that code to take you to, it can. Think of it as a barcode. When the barcode gets scanned, all this information gets sent to the computer. Well, with a QR code, you're scanning the code with your smart device, and your smart device will then be taken to where this QR code. So if I had, for example, in this case, this is my school website. If I'm putting out information to parents, and I would like them to visit the website to see what we're doing or whatever the case may be, I could put a QR code on that newsletter or brochure or whatever I'm handing out and they would be able to scan that with their smart device and um, their smart device would launch this web page. So let's walk through how to do that. The first thing we're going to do is, um, in this case I'm at the website already, um, wherever you'd want to be, your Facebook, if you're just going to type in text, however you're going to do that, um, that's where you're going to go to. So to get this website embedded into my QR code, the first thing I need to do is um, I'm going to select that URL code, which is the website's address. Okay, so I've copied it. Now I'm going to go to the website that will allow me to make my free QR code and that website is QR code C O D E dot K W A K A W K excuse me K A Y W A dot com and when this site launches it'll take me to the home page and it gives me some options. I can do a URL which is what I just pasted or copied and I'm going to paste it right now. I could do a Facebook, I could do a contact, a coupon which is really fun, you can create coupons. Um, text I could in here in this little white box instead of pasting my URL I could type in text. Um, I could have it be to my phone number uh, whatever the case may be. I'm going to put that in there and click generate. And it's going to generate that QR code so that when it is scanned by a smart device it will take people to my website. And if you see um, down here by the My Dy Dynamic Codes you can see that I have that website is now available in the QR code. Also the ones that I've done previously are also down here and I can create as many as I want. Um, what I can do now with this QR code is I can download as a PNG, a PDF, or I could share it um, through the web. I'm going to download that as a PDF so that I can, uh, or a PNG, so that <clears throat> it's an image that I can put on that brochure or that flyer. And that's just done by selecting um, whichever one, and this would be where I could right-click and copy that and paste it in whatever I wanted. Um, these are really great ways to add additional information. I've used it in the past to record the students working on a project, and then when I hang their art in the hallway, I can have the sign, have the QR code, so teachers or parents can scan that QR code and see the art process happening. There's so many applications for this. It's really however you want to take it that will be meaningful for you and for your students. Um, this website, by the way, you can create a free account. Mine is free. You don't have to pay for anything. And you can make as many as you want, as I said before. And it gives you an option to log in with your Facebook, with your Google, or just not associated with anything. It's really user-friendly. So, good luck.